Hey, baby. You off? You can not wake me up. It's past seven. I am late for work. Oh, baby, sorry. I saw you sleeping. You look so beautiful. And I just wanted you to sleep a little bit more. That's all. I thought I'd wake you up before I... <laughs> what would that be? Nine o'clock? Hmm. Baby, come on. I already said I'm sorry. No, please, there's no, no I... need. I'm already late for work. Baby, I, 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 it's not that serious. I just wanted you to sleep a little bit more, that's all. And I was... And what? You know how traffic can be in Lagos in the morning? All thanks to you, I'm going to be late for work. Oh, baby, come on. It's not that serious. Come on. Just leave me alone. This jacket is really nice. Okay, uh, babe, I'm sorry for lashing out at you. Okay, it doesn't matter. I gotta go to work. I'm pretty oh, come late. Come on, give me, give me this. You know you can go to work knowing we just had a fight and then said it. Okay, babe, I'm sorry, honey. I'm really sorry. Please. All right. Can I go now? Kisses. No goodbye kisses. Come on. Okay. Just, just, that's not how you kiss me, babe. Come on. I'm not taking that. Another one. One more. I'm getting late for work. Come on, come on. I would love to do a little bit more of this, but I gotta go to work, baby. Can you quickly have it? Hold on, wait a minute. I know, at least we're good now. We're good. Yeah. Oh, I see you, man. Okay. Sorry. Can I go? Ah, oh, yes, okay, you can go. I'm even traveling. Need for work as well. Okay. Have a good day. I'll meet you ready. Love you. I'm ready. Love Bye, you. <laughs> Oh shit, that's the next coming. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Can you please move back a little bit? I'm not. I came to open the gate. I'm late for work. Can you just pull back a little bit? You're late for work? So I'm not late for work? Can't you be a gentleman? I am driving. I want to call What is the point of having your wife? Why can't you just allow me to go back? I'm not. Can you just move back? No, you don't move back. Move back. Let me just go. No, you move back. What is your back. problem? You can't you just let me just move and leave. What's Mina, can you move your car? No, you don't move what is your problem? Do you, know, problem? do you know the time? Why are you fucking late for work too? Can't just move, let me just go.
Excuse me, ma. Good morning, ma. What is it? The brewery company brought the fire. They wanted you to take a look. The brewery can't be or not. This could have waited for me on my table. But they chose to extend your work as a secretary to become a bodyguard. Oh, a cemetery guard. I find this very irritating. Be careful. I'm so sorry, ma. I didn't mean any of that. What time is the meeting? Not one for two, one for two. Um, I need coffee. Okay. Andy, what is it? Sir, you have a meeting in 30 minutes. Did you see they're already waiting for you? Did you see your dynasty government is What do I do, Andy? Can I just get in my office first? Your job is to make my life easy. You're always pestering me with things. Why? Choking me with things. Make my life easy, man. Oh, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. Andy, what? Give me a break. I tried calling you all day. So, that should be the work that I had to do and uh, concentrate on calls from the person, the very person who made me to get a query today at work. Timini, I was also late to work. It's not like I was drinking in the morning. But that's not an issue at hand. You know what? I just don't want to argue about anything tonight. I'm tired, okay? Hey, hey. What? Hmm. Sorry. I couldn't concentrate today at work. I'm sorry. I was, I was I was sad and I was so worried about you. Please. I got you something. What are you doing? It's a gift. Come on. I can eat. Come on, give me this. I'll keep it. It's a Rolex watch. I can't keep doing this. I mean, seriously, you know I love watches, so you can't keep. You're my husband. It's okay. Are we good now? Oh, no, no, it's not a bribe. I'm just staying. <laughs> I love you. I love and you too. don't have to do this all the time. Yeah. But because you like I it? love watches, I think I owe you one. Huh? No, you don't. No, oh, you no. no, come on. Don't have to buy your watch, but if you are my husband, I can get you anything. No, it's okay. Come on. I'll put you something right now. No. I should. Just a quick one. Hmm. Just a quick one. No. Mm -mm. No, I want to take a shower. No, I want to take a shower. No. Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, don't squeeze, oh, 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 <laughs> anyway, I saw well. two or three. You're not serious. What? What? Tell me. What? Tell Anyways, me. Um, today, today. Um, I got a raise at the office. Officially. You got a raise? Yes. You got a raise, yes, baby? Yes, baby. <laughs> wow. That's great. It calls for a celebration. Yes. Congratulations. Come here, come here, my mom. My mom, 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 my the car on your birthday. That ex boss. Come on, Timini. What is wrong with you? That was an innocent gift. Come on. That ex boss that nearly got you transferred to Abuja. And he still can't leave you alone. That ex boss. Wait, wait. Are, are you serious now? Am I serious? What is wrong with you? Can't you see what he's doing? Can't you see what he's trying to do? Oh, stop it, Timini. Stop it. You're hurting me. Jesus Christ. What is wrong with you? Are you okay? Go to me. Okay, fine. If you want an ex 
explanation. I will give it to you. There was a meeting at the upper echelon today at the office. And I was highly recommended. That's all. I was highly recommended. This is supposed to be a tin of joy. But you just turned it into a fight. He should hold his good deeds. I don't want him anywhere close to my woman. I don't want him anywhere close to you. He's been transferred to a new state, a new office. Why can't he face it? Why? God, Timini. Something is definitely wrong with you, Timini. This is supposed to be a moment of joy. What joy? What is it? Timmy, all you could have done was just say, congratulations, that's all. But no, no, you will never change. I don't know if it's an evil spirit kind of jealousy. Can, 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 can you change or what? Can't you see change. what the man is doing? Why, why, why are you so blind? What's your problem? Mina, I'm talking to you and you just burst out of the room. What's wrong with you? Because you don't want to listen to me. I haven't seen that man in months. We don't even keep in touch. Really? Okay, good. Now you would do me a favor by rejecting the promotion. You would do that for your husband, right? Are you out of your mind? Are you even listening to yourself speak? I don't want any man to do favors for my wife. So reject it. Holy Moses. Tell me what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? No, no, so you mean I woke my whole ass out? And because I gave you, I, told, I mean like, I gave you a heads up about everything going on. You have the cause to downplay my hard work. No, 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 Timini, Timini, just, just, get out of my sight. Get out of your sight? Get out of my sight. Are you talking? No, 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 go ahead. Stop it. Go ahead. Stop it. Stop it. You reject that promotion. Yeah, you're looking good. You're looking good. <laughs> Uncle Martin! Yes. Uncle Martin! I'm here in town for you. So good to see you. Yes. You the way I see you in town. Yes. yes. So yes. young, yes. so young. So young. I left that years ago, you know that. Ah, I don't <laughs> No, I'm like an old marina now. Oh, so. man. Oh, man. Uncle Martin is here. What is all this? Isn't it too early for, for this noise? I mean, I mean, I, I barely slept last night, so you, you guys just woke me up. Mena! Mena, Uncle Martin is here. He's in town for a few days, so please be nice to him. A few what? A few days what? Why? A few days, yeah. My, my, why? Come on, Uncle. You, you, you could just hop into people's houses without a heads up. I mean, bury your bags like you're walking into a hotel room. Come on, it's not dawn. Come on. Look, man, I just got into town and I felt I should uh, spend a couple of days with you both. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Um, well, Uncle, it's not possible. I'm sorry, it's not happening. Something wrong with you? Is something going on with your brain? Like, what's happening to you? This is Uncle Martin. He is like a father to me. <sighs> Timini, this is my matrimonial home. Our matrimonial home, okay? I mean, we are two grown adults, Lee. It should be respected. Okay, when, when, when next time you're visiting, you should try to drop a proper notice, at least. You're not a child. Come on, you're grown up. You know what? This is my house. And Uncle Martin stays. 
This is also my house to me. It doesn't work like that. I mean, you, you who, who even walks into people's house, like gets up in the morning, dash into people's house without, without giving them a prior notification. Why? You, I mean, uncle, you, you know, these things are not done like that. Next time you want to come, just send a text message or call at least. Just call prior to the days you want to visit. Uh, for now, this is not going to work. It's not happening. You can stay. Next time, please just call us. Call prior to the days you want to visit at least. Mina, it's 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 all right, Timmy. It's it's okay. I'll leave. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. What? Uh oh. show my uncle an atom of respect you can't just walk him out of the house like that well i never sent anyone out of this house don't put words in my mouth i mean it's barely morning and someone just barges in on us with his bad to spend some days without proper notice come on timini this is all shades of wrong that man is like a father to me he needs no permission all to visit right. my house well this is also my house and everyone needs my permission I don't like it. I mean, like, I mean, like, just imagine I walked down naked and then I walked into your uncle naked looking like this. I mean, like, probably had my ankles on, singing or vibing to his story and walked into both of you naked. How would you feel? How do you think I would feel about it? Can you just stop it? Just stop it. That's not the same scenario. Good, exactly. And I'm not going to wait for you to become the same scenario before I act wise. Okay, now no one is allowed into this house without heads up. We are family, Timothy. We are family, okay? And that must be respected. Timmy, just go away, my food will be gone. I don't need that food. I have um, more delicious food right here. Just leave me alone. Please. Mm -hmm. <sighs> don't think I have truly forgiven you. I know. What am I going to do to make you forgive me? Hmm? Should I um, Should I help you dish the food? Is the uh, food ready? Hmm? <laughs> You know you said uh, pretty nasty things to me this morning. Does that mean this your little Mr. Chef Judy is like a weaver? That's no, no, all stop. you said to me. Mm -mm, stop. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Please. Please. What am I going to do to make it up to you? Mm. Come on, tell me. What do I do? I can now. Uh, do the dishes when we're done and um, help you clean, clean the... the uh, what? Clean what? Clean the house. Uh, you're pushing it a little too far, but I can... Uh, I can help clean the house with you. Do the laundry. <laughs> okay, I'll do the laundry. What else? Hmm? Am I forgiven now? 
Come on, you have to forgive me now. Okay, maybe, yes. Maybe, yes. yes. Uh, maybe, yeah. mm -hmm. I love you. Mm. I love you so much, huh? I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Okay, let me get this food ready. Uh, did you make plenty? Oh, it's finished. And by the way, I'm planting it's finished. That's why I didn't fry any for you. It's okay. I still love beans and rice. <laughs> Very much. Babe. Mm -hmm. You have to apologize to Uncle Martin. I mean, I know he was wrong, but... <laughs> You shouldn't have spoken to him the way you did. I mean, you spoke so plainly. You just put it right in his face. He felt bad. Well, you supported him, right? You were apologized to him. I will never speak to your mother like that. Even if she finds herself in Uncle Martin's shoes, I won't. So you were apologized to him. We are no kids anymore. I mean, we could have been having sex or fighting or just doing something and then your uncle would just barge in on us like that come on it's not done that way i only told him what he needs to know that's all and you, you, you can't control me into apologizing to him it doesn't no, 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 i can't please it's a complete waste of my time but i know just a person who will get you to listen because you were so stubborn you know, I thought you came to settle issues here, but you just escalated everything. You just escalated every damn thing. So, what's the essence of this meeting? To make the owner of the house apologize for stating how she wants things to be run in her own home. Mama Mene. We should allow the man of the house to talk. <clears throat> um, excuse me, Uncle Martin. Now, um, I am the managing director of one of the biggest oil companies. I didn't achieve all of that for my mother to be shut up in family meetings. Allow her to speak. Just stop it. No, no, not minute, please. He is not hushing your mother. We asked them to come here so that they can be able to settle this. So give them the chance to talk this. Yes, fine, please. Martin, let's be honest. She doesn't have anything to apologize about. You went to the house of a young couple without informing them first, and early in the morning too. Timmy is my son. Who is married to a woman, and you should respect that. <laughs> Look, we are the older ones, Martin. But these young ones deserve their space. You can't just barge in on them like that. Exactly! Keep quiet. Now, imagine you had come and they were making love in the living room. That would have been awkward for everyone. I mean, exactly what I told Timini. Just shut up and listen. The only thing I see wrong here is the fact that she had to tell it to you to your face. She should have waited for you to go, then discussed it with her husband. She should apologize for that. Exactly what I've been saying. I'm just telling her she should have spoken to me, talked to me about it. Not to shout at my uncle. He's, he's, he's my father. Why are you raising your voice to me? Yeah, I'm, 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 Why? Are you yelling at me? You just wouldn't listen. Are you yelling you at me? Listen. So you cannot you speak so to your stubborn. uncle. You Tell your, your uncle the truth. He's not a child. You don't just work into people's house without any power of It is not done to me. Don't shout at me. Don't shout at me to me. He could have well sent the text message. Oh, uncle, just give us a call before I come. You don't work into people's house. My house is not a hotel. My house is not a hotel. Don't talk to him like that. Do not talk to my uncle. You don't budget to be Don't talk to my uncle like that. Next talk to me. Talk to me and I will talk to him. I can't even Talk to him, I will talk. I will, I will, I will tell him myself. I don't want to say that. Just listen to anybody. Just listen to 
Anybody. She doesn't listen to anybody. I'm sorry about it. Listen to me. I wouldn't want you to quarrel with your wife this minute. Uncle, that's the problem. She is so stubborn. She doesn't listen to anybody. Once she makes up her mind about something, that's it. To apologize becomes a problem. You see. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't want her speaking to you like that or hurting you anyway. Hmm. You see, son, love is not enough. No, it's not. Uh, you should also remember that there is forgiveness, there is communication, there is understanding. Uncle, what if she does it again? What if she keeps doing the same thing? I don't want her speaking to you like that. See, son, I have learned a lot tonight. You are married to her, not to me. Now go after your wife, bring her close, show her love. You see, her mother, Mama Mina, and myself only came here to put you in the right path to make sure that things don't go wrong. See, you are a couple, and if anything comes in between, you are no longer a couple. And that's what love is all about. You've got to understand her. And she understands you too. And both of you will come together. That's why you're married. That's why you're in love. If we come in between now, we will no longer be playing the role of people who just know both of you. We will then be interfering in your relationship. You see, son, we all have faults, you know. But the most important thing in love is to understand the other person and try to reduce your own faults by learning from your mistakes. And she does the same. And you both can live together. You are a grown-up now. Thank you, Uncle. Good, son. Thank you. Good. So, go do that. I will be on my way to... Shower. What? Okay. I just took my shower. Yeah, you can have another one with me in the bath. No. It'll be interesting. No. Interesting. I like you shower, you know. No, I don't want to shower with you. Leave <laughs> me alone. No I've done this for a long time. Come here. Come here. I think I can carry you. I don't want to fall down. Are you serious oh. now? now and still now is forthcoming what do we do baby i told you not a thing you see i told you no, baby, come on it's nothing silly i'm thinking oh, about it's gosh. children we all want to have i want to have children and you want to have children too so mm -hmm. everyone wants children i want to i want to have kids too okay but that is not a time when would be the time, babe? We have to talk about this. Come on. Mm. Where are you going? Bathroom. Um, Timini, I think you should just take time and relish in your thoughts, you know. 
for me i just want this beautiful moment in my mind till i sleep tonight excuse me baby come on this girl. I mean, we are just a perfect match for each other. <laughs> oh dear. But see, marriage is a different kettle of fish from dating. You see, you need to agree on quite a good number of things. And that includes lifestyle, finances, children, etc, etc. Uncle, come on. <laughs> we love each other. Uh, when we get married, we will fix things as we move forward. I mean, love is the most important thing, right? 
You know, love is never enough. You know that when you're dating, it's a different kettle of fish from getting married. Now, have you discussed things about uh, finances, lifestyle, children? All those things are very important that you agree with each other. Listen, Uncle. <laughs> um, certain things like finances, we've, we've talked about it. We are both rich. <laughs> we can spend our individual money. It's not a problem, Uncle. What about children? Uh, children, I want uh, four children. She wants three. I can do with three. <laughs> okay, son. Now listen, I've accepted her. So long as you love her and you want her to be close to you, then she becomes my daughter automatically. Thank you, Uncle. All I want is your happiness, you both do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Uncle. All right. Hmm? All right. All right. I appreciate it. Right. And you love her. I do. Because she's a great woman. Of course, I want to love her. So long as you love her, you will love her. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> here just to soul can look as if the world is crashing uh, as if you're dying as uncle if... uncle how could she how could she i mean i was always concerned about our, our lack of children hmm. you know how much i love children i want children she's been making a mockery of me but i asked you about this before you got married that was what she made me believe that was what she made me believe. But now she's so focused on her job and, and getting a promotion. But, it, but, but, but oh, that's not... Look, I love her. I love my wife. But I don't really know what's going on. I'm confused. And okay. this is not something I'm going to take lightly. This is not something I'm just going to let go. Okay, Timini. Have you tried 
talking with your wife, not to your wife. <clears throat> as lovers, as adults, as people who got married, have you tried doing that? Uncle, she already told me what she wants, and I have also given her my ultimatum. Okay. Now, this is what you're going to do. You will go home, have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with your wife. You people need understanding. You need to appreciate each other. You need to bond. So you go back home and do that. What if it doesn't work? Then I know what next to do. I can assure you of that. Now let's go. Where are you coming from at this hour of the night? I've been worried about you. Mina, I think you should focus your attention on getting pregnant. And stop worrying about things that are of much less importance. Timothy, I am your wife. I am your wife, Timothy. Why do you treat me like this? Why? I've been sitting there right there worried about you. For many ways, done that with that son of Agatha. I called you so many times. You ignored my calls. I kept calling you. You wouldn't answer me. And the only thing you get right to, 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 to tell me this. What do you take me for? Am I not your wife? What do you want? Flowers? You want me to come inside, sing your love song to you? Or you want me to come inside and give you a hug? Is that what you expected? If you if only you understood what you've done, you won't you won't stand here talking trash to me. Um, Timmy, listen, listen, honey, we, we can talk about this. Listen. We can always find a way around this. Find a way around what? What are you talking about? Adoption? Adoption? Oh my god. When my wife is standing in front of me alive, healthy, adoption? Mina, I don't think you understand the gravity of what you've of what you've done or what is happening right now. Because if we understood what is happening right now. You won't even talk like this. But don't, 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 don't worry. In the next one month, two or three months, when you stand before your family and my family, explain to them who is your real husband. Whether it's me or your job, then you know what I'm talking about. Hello, Mama. What's going on? Conception. You won't be damaged. No, Mom. God forbid. Um, I just don't want kids. Um, Mom. Um, eh? And um, I tried discussing with Timini, and he got enraged. Okay, Mom. Don't, no, no, no. Just calm down. Look at the situation here. I just got a promotion at work. Do you understand? I mean, I get him pregnant right now will make me look unserious. And Timmy doesn't want to see reasons with me. He doesn't understand. Hey. Mom, you get it, right? Like, imagine getting a promotion after struggling for a job. It doesn't even make sense for me to hop on a maternity train. Timmy doesn't want to understand it. Uh, uh, wait, and now okay. he has given me three, three months at a maternity to get pregnant. Wait, 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 wait. 
Uh, is it that you don't want to have children at all, or you just don't want them yet? Because I recall you having this discussion with Timini before you got married, and you said you wanted kids. I know, Mom, but I lied. Mom, you know I love Timini. I, I, I didn't want to lose him. But I, I also have a career to protect. Mommy, please, I, I, I beg of you, I needed to talk to him. Trying to explain things to him, I, I don't even know. You are mad. Mom. And the next time you call me up in the middle of the night to discuss this nonsense, you will see stars because I will slap you. I'm sorry. Honestly, I'm sorry. Just good for me. Wait. What do you expect me to say? What were you expecting? A standing ovation? Or oh, well, I, I, I should give you a round of applause? Good for you. Well, what for it? Just take it easy, man. What? Come on, why are you making a mess up the whole place? Can't you brush like an adult? Even a three-year-old will brush better than this. You saw me brushing my teeth. You said you have a conversation with me. And now you're complaining about it. As if I won't clean the place when I'm done. Give me a break. Um, Timini, all I'm just saying is that you should take it easy, okay? I mean, like, you messed up yesterday, I cleaned it. Day before yesterday, I cleaned it. I mean, if you can't be making a whole mess and expect me to clean it every day for you. If it irritates you so much, why 
didn't you wait for me? You should have stood outside waiting for me. When I'm done, you come inside. But no, you came here because you wanted to fight with me. I just came to tell you my decision does so not to bug you or your brush. And, and your decision has nothing to do with my toothpaste and my toothbrush. Yeah. But you just want to keep complaining about everything. I will clean it up. What's the big deal? That's not how it's done. You wipe it, you don't, you don't put water on the mirror. Really? You wipe it, that's not how it's done. Cheers. Gosh. I've never seen my like this in my life. Babe, I'm exhausted. Look, I'm tired of this constant fights and arguments. I'm tired. I'm not fighting you, Mina. I just want to be left alone, that's all. But you've been angry with me since last night. Baby, I, I accept the carry the child. I'm gonna carry the child. Okay, um, I'm also sorry about the bathroom arguments this morning. But, 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 it's not like I'm taking it back. You should, you should try to keep, I mean, like, clean your mess and keep the bathroom clean. Oh, that's not the point. Okay, the point is, baby, my love, I miss my husband. I miss him so much. And I'm sorry. I'm, I'm tired of staying all alone in this house without talking to you. I mean... I mean, I, I am spent. I'm spent. It's like all the fights there eating us up, just coming between the both of us, coming between us, coming between the love we have for each other. It's, it's terrible. And I'm tired. I'm, I'm truly tired of them. Um, to me. Um, I know we love each other. Right? We're gonna be fine. We will make it work. We're gonna try to make it work, okay? Um, I'm sorry about the contraceptives. I know you're mad at me. Please forgive me. I promise to make it up to you. Um, I mean, can I take you somewhere? I mean, can we go to somewhere nice? Like, maybe somewhere beautiful? Let me just take you out. You can, you can eat anything you want, drink anything you want. The bill is on me. Why are you looking at me like that? Bill is on you. Uh huh. Are you serious? Why not? Because <laughs> the last time you said the bill was on you, we went out and I ended up paying all the bills. And it's <laughs> like you use the whole meal thing and you use it against me to pay all the um, bill. When was that? You don't remember. No, like I don't now remember. you don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> really? You don't remember? Okay, to me, I promise this time I'm a changed person. The bill is on me for real. Okay, but I'll still carry my wallet, though. You don't trust me. I don't. Look, I have money. Do you know how much I spend that night? I have money. Sorry. And you say, oh, my husband okay, is around. Okay, okay, fine, fine, come here. Come here. Okay. I'm sorry, and I really love you. I love you. I'm just tired of the fights. 
Can I have some toast, baby? <laughs> no, no. I made my own breakfast. Why this not? No, no. I don't want me to share. No. I want no, to, no, I no, no, want no, some. no, 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 no. Hey. You look great. You look hot. I, I like your watch. watch. You really like my watch. Come on, <laughs> you bought this watch for me. Don't even, don't even talk about it. I thank you for the gift. It's okay. You're welcome. Anytime. Okay. Since we are planning on having mini us. Uh, okay. Yeah. I was thinking that. Uh, Okay, I want you to imagine something. Just imagine having a little girl, baby girl, that is half you and half me. What would you call her? Um. Uh -huh. I'll let you go first. No, no, come on. I mean, you, you, you're the man of the house. Don't try to be smart. No, I'm you not. ain't smart. Don't try to be smart. How would you okay. call her? Are you trying to outsmart me? Right now? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? What? Hmm? <laughs> Stop, stop. Come on. Doing? Come on. Maybe we have just one course right now. Okay. I'm dressed already, so can okay. we just go? Just one course, right? Mm hmm, one course. I did nothing, you know? You did something. Alright. Baby, you look so beautiful, man. Come on, you look so. It's been four years since I met you, and since I met you, you haven't aged your bed. Not even your day. Thank you. And we have forever to do. Forever, right? Mm-hmm. I love you, Mina. I love you so much. Don't you ever forget that. Don't ever forget that. Okay? I love you too. How much? One billion times. Oh, yeah, come on. Come on, it's priceless. You are I love you. Baby, that's now, come it. on, let's go. Love. You know I love you. Oh, of course. I love you most. Mm -hmm. I love you the most. <laughs> um, what? Be oh, come on, you know him. Okay, you know him. I know him. He's crazy. I just love my husband. So. I like on her. Ah. You found your ring in the bag? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? <laughs> but why do men behave like this? He's seeing me right here with my husband and you see making signs for me. Maybe, um, friends. Um, babe, babe, you're gonna ignore him. You're gonna ignore him. Baby, ignore him. Give it to me. Baby, we're here to have fun. Give it to me. And we're gonna do just that. Okay, give it to me. Just like him. Maybe my children want to get Are you serious now? Are you serious now? Are you serious now? No, no, Timini, stop, stop, stop. Timini, stop. Stop it, stop. Stop, Timini, stop. Timini, stop. stop. Oh my god, somebody help me. Somebody help. Somebody help. Somebody help, please. Stop me, Timini. Stop, stop me. 
damn security company got you. Calm you down, calm down, it's all right. Huh? You, you want to try my wife? Huh? Please calm down, please. What's wrong with you? Hey, hey, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Did you see him? Did you see what he was doing? Did you see how he, you, how he was looking at you? It doesn't matter. His lips? You should have just ignored him. Why should it's I ignore him? It's obvious that he's crazy. But he decided to give everyone a show here. Why did you ignore him? The man sent you a bottle of champagne. So? So he sent you his complimentary card. Nobody would disrespect my wife in my face. No. No, no. You have an anger and jealousy problem, and you just ruined this beautiful evening. You know. So you want to blame me now? I, I you want to blame me now Enjoy for what you, Mina? We came in. Where? Goodbye. Where are you going, Mina? I heard you almost killed a man, Timmy. That was highly exaggerated. I don't think it was even necessary to be brought to your attention. Seriously? Look, I, I know you are a young man who needs to mark your territory, but some animals are not worth fighting with. Exactly. Uncle, he saw the rings. He knew we were married, yet he made passes. I didn't care. What would have happened if I wasn't there? What? Uncle, when I saw what he said, I totally ignored him. Something I begged you, I begged you to me to ignore. Okay, Mena, I know you are upset. Let me talk with your husband alone. <sighs> okay, Uncle. I mean, like, it would have been a perfect night, a perfect date. But you, you, you just, you ruined everything. Like, you always do, you ruined it. You always. Excuse me, Uncle. Look, Timini. Your wife is right. I, I just see a woman who is worried about her husband. Uncle, it, it, I don't think she should have bothered you about this. It's something we could have handled ourselves. No, you could have been hurt, my friend. Suppose he had a gun. This would have been a different story altogether. I just couldn't stand the way he was looking at my wife. I could should have seen his eyes. He was there staring at her, winking, licking his lips. I couldn't stand it. Yes, I know I could have been hurt, but I just wanted him to know that my wife was off limits. Jealousy. Jealousy could be very, very dangerous. Right? Now, of course I know as a young man you'll be a bit jealous about your beautiful wife. But you could have gone out of hand. You of all people should know that. Uncle, I, I just... I just... I just wanted to protect my own. I, I couldn't stand another man trying to you know, make passes at my wife. Look, that young lady loves you more than anything else. Well, the, the action of a crazy young man at the bar couldn't have changed anything. All right? Uh, I don't want what, what happened in the past to, 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 to repeat itself. To, 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 to. Uncle. What happened? What happened to who? My parents? Uncle, it's been 20 years. 20 years. You haven't said anything about my parents.
What is the connection between what happened today and that? The only connection I see is that you would have been a dead man if that man was armed. You should listen to me, Mina. You should respect me. Really? Getting my uncle involved in issues that we can solve ourselves like adults doesn't sit well with me. Oh, well, I needed to bring someone that you listen to. Because obviously that someone isn't me. Jesus Christ, me, do you know you nearly killed that man? Stop over-exaggerating. Stop it. That man would have had a buffed eye, a broken bone, and I would have been fine. So why exactly did you call my uncle? Um, uncle Martin is, is, is one of our marriage counsel. You needed counseling. He didn't complain, so why are you complaining? I am your husband. You will listen to me, Mina. What happened today can never be repeated. We have an issue. We solve the issue ourselves. Understood? Uh, but Timmy, I am you! Good. What did your uncle say about your parents? Nothing. Come on, Timmy. You know, we need to talk for so long time that you know. He said nothing and that's the problem. Because I could see it right in his face. Like he was waiting just right in his face. But yet he couldn't say anything. Um, what reminded him of them? I mean, it, it was just a fight. A normal couple's fight. My mom and dad were so young when they got married. Their love for each other was immeasurable. They couldn't take their hands off each other. Sounds like the people that I know. But just like my uncle says, sometimes love is not enough. They had me, only child. And then the differences started to show. They just fought day in, day out, every day. I guess they fought so hard, trying to make things better. And I became very possessive, jealous. My mom was always nagging. It was as, as though their love for each other was eating them up. Like haunting them. Hmm. Until. Until. I 
That's another story for one day. understand why he remembered them tonight. But we're not going to end up like them or whatever that happened. Okay? But we're not. Hello. Cheers. It's past working hours. You can call me by this time of the night. It's past 11. You should have done that in the office. That was a mistake. Okay, fine. So you 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 send me a copy. I will call him, okay? But first, you send a copy to me. I I sign. Then send back to you. You forward to him that he will sign, and send back to you, okay? Copy that. All right then. Um, please, my secretary called and she said she needs your signature ASAP. Is it possible for you to do that for her? I know, uh, Mr. Bology, um, that is why I called you specially. Please do this for me. Thank you for putting in some good words for me. I really appreciate it. Who's that? Uh, uh, um, uh, baby, I, I, I thought you were supposed to be in bed. That doesn't come close to answering my question. Who were you talking to? I don't even try to lie. I stood here long enough to listen to a bit of your conversation. I saw you smiling. It, it, we have to go along with the arrangement you were about to make. To me, it's just a work call. Work call? Past 11 p.m. work call? Wait, do you, do you think I'm stupid? Do you, no, do you think I'm a fool? Who are you talking to? Um, um no, no, nobody. I mean, no, no. Bolaji. Bolaji. The one who bought the car, right? Uh, Bolaji. Uh, hmm? Um, it's, 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 it
He's talking, he's getting close to what you're thinking. Is this just. Um, the, the secretary. Uh, I don't want to hear it. Tomorrow I'll let you know how I think about this whole drama of yours. But in the meantime, you can go ahead, call him. Uh, no, Tell him yes. you agree to his proposal, whatever he's offering, and many more in the future. Call him. Uh, no, it's, it's not. I told you. I warned you. You refused to listen. Go ahead. Enjoy yourself. It's, it's, no, it's not what you think. It's, it's, just, a, it's just one call. It's a signature. It's a signature. It's a signature. I don't want to do it here. Anyway, so who cares? Now do not disrespect me, Timini. Don't you dare! Oh, the night crawler is offended. You're offended. I told you to cut off all communications with him, yet you persisted on talking to him. 11 p.m. You snuck outside to talk to him. Because what do you want me to think? Jesus Christ, Timini, it was work related. Work related? Work ends by 5 p.m., Mina. 5 p.m. Work related. Work related that you had to sneak out of the room to talk to him. Work related that you couldn't let your secretary to handle. Work related. Oh, okay, I, I get it. This is it. Right? So you were spying on me last night. You were awake. Oh, really? Come on, that was so low of you. You must be out of your mind. Spying on you? Jesus Christ. I, I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt. I wanted to trust you, yet I come downstairs and see you talking, smiling. I told you to cut all communications with them. Smiling? Jeez. Timini, what do you want? What else do you want from me, Timini? I basically do everything a housewife should do. I cook for you, I wash, I clean. What do you want? Do you want my head? You can have it! Including highly conscious actors. I'll be let down at the right? That's what a housewife should do. Take contraceptives, huh? To deny her husband having children. Okay, okay. Whatever, I don't care. But no, no, listen. Timini, I am successful. I am a very successful woman. Now tell me, how many women of my caliber can do all I do in this house when they can comfortably afford the help? How many of them? But all you do is cling, possess, and control my life. <laughs> 
Jesus, see me now, I am tired of all of this. I am sick of it. I am so sick of all of this. Nasty behavior because I am tired of it. You are tired of it? Well, you have the whole house to yourself today, Mina. Call him all day. Like, you can invite him to our house, right? When I'm out, invite him. I will call him. I will call him. 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 I need some space. I need to race. I need some time. I need some time for my sanity. With you, I cannot say no. No matter how hard I try to You're making me so sad You're getting me confused I cannot understand Are you the same one? of this nonsense. What is it? This! This! What? What is it again, Timini? Are you back to win more insults than me? Are you? Where's my food? Do not ignore me when I'm talking to you. Where is my food? Where is my food? Do not ignore me when I'm talking to you. Food. Oh, well, Timini, I was very busy. I didn't cook. As a matter of fact, there's no food for anyone in this house today. There's food in the house now. Mina, we, we have food in the kitchen, food stuff in the kitchen. Oh. Why didn't you cook? You, you stayed home the whole day. Or you just sitting there waiting for me to come back home? <laughs> to annoy me? <sighs> what the hell? Like, you just been waiting for you to come back home? Like, why do you please yourself in such high regards, my king? Why? Do not disrespect me. Do not disrespect me. Just stop with this whole nonsense attitude of yours now. What, what's the meaning of all that now? You spend the whole day home and you... you, you and, then, and, and, and what's the meaning? What? What? Now last night you locked me out of the room, right? And then you came downstairs at about 8 a.m. acting like nothing happened. Like, 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 like you were leaving. Leaving for work without even looking at my face or saying anything to me. Really? And then you come back from work expecting to meet your housemaid to have cooked Served and set the table for her king's return. Hey, no, it doesn't work like that. Now, you don't talk to a woman. You don't say nasty things to a woman and expect everything to be okay. Mina. Mina. Mina! Don't Mina me! Don't! Now, if I were you, Timothy, I would reserve this whole strength, this whole fighting bossy strength of yours. Reserve it! Drive out and get something to eat. I mean, like, I better off. Go to the kitchen and cook. You're a human being. You can cook. Can't you cook? Or your mother didn't train you well. Can't you cook? To don't me? you? Don't you? No, 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 no. You can cook. That is a kitchen right there. No, no. Third option. You can also just go upstairs and get a beautiful sleep. I mean, you're on diet. 
Why don't you do it again? Now, I don't care what you think, but either way, do not touch me ever again. I am done being controlled by you. morning. Why? And you've been home the whole day, Mina. You've been here. Are you, are you just, are you touching me? Are you just trying to touch me? Are you just trying, are you just trying to get on my nerve? Are you trying to get me angry? Why do you do this to me now? ashamed of yourself. You are a woman. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should even be on your knees begging me and saying sorry. Now you ask you, you, you say to me that you came to check if, if, if I fixed the room. Are you not a woman? You, you never apologize for anything. You, you never remorseful about anything. You just the same stubborn mina. It's like I, I, I should go on my knees and apologize to you, really? Oh, and I am not your slave. I am men, not your slave. Listen, I know real men. Real husbands who always give their wives the time and opportunity to express themselves. But when it comes to you, you never, you never ever give me the chance because you believe everything you think and say is right. That's all you do. We see these things. All these mess ups, all these things. Uh, I'm done. You see all these things that a sane grown adult messes up. I am so torn, Timmy. And if you think you're gonna control my life, I am torn. I am so torn, Timmy. And, 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 and if, you, if you think it's too hard for you to swallow and make like it too hard for you to take it, I can do anything about it. I'm just gonna sleep in the city room and get my you to sleep. Now, it is left for you to decide. Like, you have to decide. And then you'll just clean you. Clear. That's it. 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 
trying to put me in trouble. She's trying to get me in trouble. Why is she doing this now? Why is she doing this now? for us so that we, we so that what so that what book for a vacation for us so that what we can go on fighting each and every day so that we you can you can disrespect me in front of people so you can sneak out in the night in the middle of the night to make phone calls your sleazy phone calls whispering and and, and giggling on the phone huh no ma'am i did not pay for a vacation for us i paid for a vacation for myself. I'm getting out of here. I need a place that I'm going to have some sanity. I can be here. What, what did you say? What did you say? I said I need to get out of here. You want to do the same thing? Take money, buy yourself a ticket, fly anywhere you want to do. I don't care. I'm tired of all the things you say to me. I'm, I'm tired of how fast you run into conclusion. I'm tired of that you are so obsessed with control that you don't even see how much you surprise me with all the things you say I do. Well, I guess. Even our princess life is enough to say this. It's enough to say this. Obviously, enough to say Mina, where are you going? Mina, come here. Mina. Oh, you're running now, right? You're running, eh? Run! Run away! You think I'm gonna run after you? You think I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend my time chasing after you? Run! 
You always too quick. Always too quick to work me. Always what? Can't you just shut up and take a breath? You're always too fast in pointing fingers at other people just to see how messed up they are. It's either me that this or me that that. Timini, you need a total reconstruction. And you wanna know, yes, I am leaving. That's why you want That's why you wanna leave our house, right? That's why you wanna leave our home, right? What is the essence of staying in a place where you cause a thing fight on a day? Have sex to patch things up and then fight again. What is the point? I haven't even slept in my room for how many days now, Timini? How many days? Because you know what you've done wrong and you, you, you refuse to apologize. You don't want to apologize about anything. You know the truth. Say the truth. Say the real truth. I don't have to be stopped at I don't. I mean, what, what, what? I'm, I'm giving you enough audience. As far as I'm concerned, I have given you enough audience. We don't even communicate like normal human beings. We don't talk like a normal couple, Simini. It's always from one person fight to the other. Are you not tired? And you know what? You're right. Very correct. This place is too toxic, and I am tired of it. I can't do this anymore. Time. It's been a whole week of starving yourself. Look, this is your family. If you want it back, fix it. I don't want it back. Don't. You don't. But you've been here crying all week, even calling his name when you sleep. 
Uh huh. There's nothing to be ashamed of. He's your husband anyway. Martin was here again today. This is the seventh time he's been here this week. Make what you want of that information. Mira. I can never love. Mira. 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 When your only daughter is starving herself, locking herself up, refusing to talk. That's why I went there to try to talk to him myself today, but then I saw you. Look, I've tried, believe me. But for two weeks now, he has locked himself up. He's not communicating with anybody. His phone is switched off. He's hurting badly. But he misses her. They miss each other. But they're letting their differences win. Even though I know her anger is justified. But I know she's doing some things that's making Timini annoyed as well. If only we could get them to just talk to one another and not yell as usual. Yeah, but I can't reach him. He's locked up. But if we can reach Mena, then we can all reach Timini. So how do I reach Mena? I think I know how. Oh. But you have to be fast. All right, let's go. I'm all for it. Hmm. Who is there? Yes. You can't run again. I have finally caught up with you. Uncle Martin, yes. uh, uh, Would you ask me to sit down? I don't need to ask you. I'm already seated. 
Now you come and sit yourself. You know, Mina, when Timini wanted to get married, I was very worried. No. But I advised him like any man would advise a young man that is growing up. I was worried about the kind of woman he would get married to. Then I saw you. I realized he made the right choice. I saw that you loved him, you cared for him, and he loved you and cared for you too. Until the problems set in. Day in, day out, you started quarreling. I moved from being worried to being scared. Hmm. I became scared that history would repeat itself. Um, Uncle Martins, what do you mean by history? I don't understand. His parents? Yes. Yes, Mina. Timini's mother was my younger sister. Same father, same mother. When they got married, they were so in love like both of you. Until the man began to molest her, began to, to beat her. Oh my God. Oh yes, my sister was very beautiful and he thought that someone was going to take her away from him and he became extremely jealous and began to molest. Um, <sighs> um, I'm sorry, just take a break. Please go on. Sorry. Please go on. Then one day, he wanted to hit her. She dodged and rolled down the stairs oh headlong. My goodness. She couldn't get up again. She was dead. And she was six months pregnant. Oh my God. He couldn't forgive himself, and I don't think anybody forgave him. Two weeks later, he was dead. Then I took Timini into my house, and my wife had died before now, so he was not exposed to any female care. No woman cared for him. I was the only person he knew, the only family he had. I'm, 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 I'm shocked. Honestly, I'm, I'm shocked. He never said anything like this to me. He never told me a story like this. I'm not making excuses for him. He has his own faults. And you two, you have yours. And you cannot solve the problems by not talking to each other. You need to talk frankly to each other and understand each other. You need to communicate. Uncle, um, he said a lot of things to me. He said a whole lot to me. Then I, let's go to the house. I'm not going to the house. I deserve an apology. Then go together. We hear the apology together. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. You're ashamed of yourself now. Just two weeks and both of you have wilted. You can't go on like this. You love each other. You need to talk to each other. 
You need to understand each other. You need to communicate. You need to solve your problems yourself. And you cannot do that by staying apart from each other. You need to go back to the house. Right? Come on. Come on. Son. Son. I brought your wife. Sit down, son. By the time I leave here now, you'll have to go and take your wife to yourself. You see, there is no book about marriage that works for everybody. It's only the one you write yourself. So all you have to do is to go there Talk to your wife, understand her, and she will understand you. And I can assure you, your marriage would work. There is nobody that can make your marriage work other than yourself. Anybody that tells you that is a liar. Whatever problems you're encountering, others are also encountering there. So what you now do is shed all those anger. Go take your wife. She's yours. You love her so much. And she loves you. Now come on, son, go on. Bology and I, I mean, I mean, I know. I mean, I. Your mother told me everything. I. I am so sorry for everything I said to you, all the stupid things I said to you. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have spoken to you that way. You are my wife, you are my love, you are my. You are my everything. Look, I promise to be a better man. I. I promise to work as hard as possible to make us work because I love you so much. So. I'm sorry too. Very sorry. I really missed you. I missed you too. I missed you. Thank you so much. You know what? They start all over and let's fight to make sure that we experience better, stronger love. Let's fight. A better way of communicating with each other. And more sex. Great sex. Love that. Maybe 
maybe this is or this would be the best time to figure out how many kids we want to have and how to name them. Oh no, this is not the right time. This, know, is, this is the right time. No, 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 come on, baby. This is not. Well, it's not a better time at all. It is a good time. No, it's baby. not a good time. It's a time to wake up. Oh, my God. Um, Let's see what happens after, baby. Oh, mm. mm. uh, okay. Uh, mm. Mm. Oh, just before I forget, um, I think I'll need a companion on my trip to the resort. That's if. Is that like an invitation? Or really an invitation. Okay, I'm just telling you, you're going to follow me to my results. <laughs> Do you have a problem with that? No. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I can never withstand it 